today we're doing the R Pod 193. Come on. South Thompson RV in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, and yep, we're going to do the R Pod 193. In the description, you're going to find the links to the timestamps and the currency converter and those research materials that you can use too, as well as if you feel like it, buy us a coffee. It helps us to keep making videos. And we'll put a link at the end where you can click to the construction video to get all the information you want on the R Pod. Let's start here at the front. You get your one. 20 pound uh, propane tank. You do get a front glass window, which I have to confirm the, I would assume it's automotive grade glass because it doesn't have a cover, but I want to confirm that for you. You also get the uh, bike rack that you can put on here. You get the electric jack with the light. So I really like that. And here's where you're going to find your battery shut off and you get this uh, rock guard as well. I would like that rock guard to be lifted up a bit, but something's better than nothing, right folks? Down here, we do get four manual stabilizer jacks. And then moving down the side, I gotta say, these graphics are so nice. These trailers just came on the lot. They've been on the road and they haven't had a chance to get sprayed down yet, but these graphics are really cool. I love the little gold, it shines in the sun and it's just really nice. So into the door. So those are on magnets. I like that. And you do get this pretty decent sized pass through there. And then coming over, you get your uh, fresh water fill to fill your tank and your city water connection. And down underneath is your fresh water drain. Now remember, this is the seven and a half foot. So it does have a fully enclosed underbelly. So that's nice too. Uh, you do get a slide, love those. It's on the Schwintex system, which is appropriate for the size. I mean, these are small trailers. You get your bulb and your flap. And if you look up at the top, now there's not really room, I don't think, to put on a topper, uh, but I would ask about that if I were buying this trailer. But you do get the rain rail with the little spout to push the rain away from your rig. So come on down, let's see what else we can find. On the rear end of the slide, there is another compartment here. And again, it has the magnet. Um, this is a pretty, pretty big size compartment. So that's cool. Underneath it is where your sewer hookup is with your gray and your black valves. Um, of course, I would prefer those to be up inside, uh, but they're there and that's all good. And if we're moving down here, we get the cable satellite and your 30 amp hookup and the other two uh, manual stabilizer jacks are back here. Coming around in the back, you do get a ladder because remember the seven and a half foot wide trailers, you can walk on the roof, but only the flat portion. Don't walk on the curved areas. You do get a spare back here. Um, and these are fairly aggressive tires. It is the Westlake ST23575R15s, and the, the main uh, wheels are aluminum. This one is your spare, so it's a steel one. And then coming around to the passenger side, you can see quite a big awning, LED lighting, exterior speakers. Uh, your black tank flush is up here. And again, you can see that the, the seven and a half wide still has a bit of the tire on the outside, but only about half. And you get this rail here. Wow, we're right by the freeway. <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Rail again, you can hook on a, a grill or something like that here. And I do like the level of that. You do get a spray port, electric. And then let's look in the uh, other side of that pass-through storage here at the front. Oh, it's got a box in it. <laughs> and that's that grill that fits over there. So that's all nice. Then let's talk about the stairs. Somebody left their gloves. It's kind of cold out. <laughs> and somebody left their coffee. <laughs> Who are these people? Stairs. 
So what I'm finding interesting is the mechanism is kind of a sliding thing through these metal pieces. These are aluminum um, treads, but metal the rest. So you're going to want to be careful about taking care of that. Now, loving these are pod doors. It's just something different. And of course, I like the different things. It appears to be glass, but it's not. It, you can't see through it or anything. It's just a, an interesting feature door on a friction hinge let me see how far that goes back i do notice that it hits the awning there uh would be kind of better if they put sort of some sort of stopper or something in here to keep that door from hitting uh the awning then you get a not quite self-closing but that's okay screen door i like it there's a window in the door up at the top too let's go inside come on Nice, bright decor, right? This is what everyone's asking for. So our pod has uh, stepped up. Very nice. So over on this end, so this is the front of the trailer, uh, you get a nice couch here. This is kind of a vinyl stuff and this is a fabric stuff. So I like that. You get electrical and USB here. You get um, your TV hookup here so you could watch that either from that couch space there or over there um, going down you get a lot of storage underneath here so that's nice and there's also a dog bowl over here and then this whole thing makes down into a Murphy bed so that's kind of cool let's give it a go see how I do Ooh, well that was easy enough and then there's a little uh, safety latch here that I'll undo. Oh, it's on a spring, I see. Okay. And then it just lays down. And this is the, oh, I see. <laughs> The mattress is still folded up inside this plastic, so I'm not going to take that out and show you, but it is actually two separate pieces that would nicely fold out over the Murphy bed. Whew. <laughs> She's a little tougher to put in, though, than some. Um, so let's go try this one out because there's another couch seating area, dining area here. Um, so you get this type of table, which I do like because it adds to countertop space in a small trailer like this. And it still gives you um, quite a bit of table space here at this couch. Okay, things I'm noticing. Let me just move this out of the way. This is in the slide, which is cool because it gives you all the extra space. But it also makes it quite a bit higher to sit up on. So for some of you, that won't matter <laughs> but for us it's probably not going to be the easiest most comfortable you know <laughs> coach is all but it also makes down to bed not sure what this is about um maybe if you're an owner you could explain that to us i'm wondering if it's a way to fasten down the table though love the decor though and these are like easy to wipe a little bit of fabric but nothing major cup holders in here and that just comes off and then this one comes off and then it pulls out i believe here we go oh you know what maybe it's the whole done there you go now we know what it's about so it's a small bed i mean but you could you could put some kids here if you have that many kids because this is a bunk model <laughs> so and then I mean it goes down pretty easy you have to pull the back this is what I've learned you have to pull the back up to put the seat down but you know it gives you quite a bit of extra space and I like that above you get some nice cabinetry and I like this light cabinet with a little bit of dark in the handles and that kind of thing. It's got a little bit of decorative glass in there. Your window shades, puck lighting, 
I believe these, yeah, single pane. So it's all pretty functional and nice. And then, um, like I said, you can use this to be part of the kitchen, which is next. Not a ton of countertop space. And the thing that I would recommend is some type of flip up counter from here. Yes, it gets in the way of the door, but you have a choice up or down. Uh, I do like the countertop. I like the color. I like the fact that it, it's not a solid surface. It's a laminate, but it rolls over and there's no seams. I really do love. Okay, so here I am, the person that always wants to have a split sink. But I love these round ones. <laughs> and they're not split. So it does make, you know, draining the dishes, that kind of thing, a bit challenging. But this is a huge sink, nice tap. And it, it just seems pretty functional. Um, but again, not enough countertop space. But you do get the glass top, two burner, propane, suburban uh, stove, and then moving up, quite a bit of storage space here, but both Corey and I were kind of wondering about that because there's no doors on it. It doesn't appear to be planned for doors, so I'm not really sure about that because then there should at least be some netting or something on there. Um, so if anybody knows, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And I will ask the people here at the dealership what's up with that. Going down, you get quite a bit of storage in there. I like that. And you get a convection microwave because, of course, you don't get an oven. And so that's a pretty decent size, too. And then moving over, we get a, quite a big Dometic fridge. I love its placement. I can reach everything. Uh, I'm going to say it's about a six cubic foot. And then um, over here, you get a mirrored pantry. So there's quite a bit of space there. Now, these are not adjustable shelves, um, but you could put some bins and things in there because they're quite deep, right? So you can put all that kind of stuff in there and organize it however you like. Moving down, uh, you do get a furnace here and that's just going to heat the whole area and you get a central vac. That's cool, right? Because this is very nice, uh, durable vinyl floor and even with a slide, there is no carpet in here. I absolutely love that. So you can just sweep it up, suck her out, it's all good. Next, let's move over to these bunks. These are tiny bunks. <laughs> but remember, we're in uh, a seven and a half foot wide trailer. They do have a weight capacity of 300 pounds. They've got the comfy mattresses. They both have windows. They'll both have lights and they both have USB. Um, but yes, I'll lay in here and show you just how big it is. I'm just going to move this little package out of the way and climb in here. Okay, so how's that? It's not bad, you know. Like, I'm not claustrophobic or anything. I could do it. So, just so you know. And then there's this one, too, which is even more open, I think. Also, over to this side, I just wanted to point out there's another cabinet with mirrors. Oh, look at what it's got! I love these. You know I love these. I love pullouts. Isn't that nice? And there's two of those plus closet rod space. So nice. And then let's go back and check out the bathroom. Here we are in the bathroom. A few things. Uh, you get a Thetford plastic foot flush toilet. There's also quite a nice uh, amount of storage stacked over here. And then you get this, and this is interesting. It's quite a big shower this way. Uh, you get the one piece wrap around, and then the base is a second piece, but it's a decent size. Um, no caulking on those. And then the interesting thing 
is it's got this little sink here. So Corey and I are always complaining about no sink in the bathroom whenever we see that. So it's nice to have this. It doesn't have to be a huge sink. This is a perfectly good size. It's plumbed in with the same fixtures as the shower. So yeah, we think that's fantastic. The only feature about it that's a bit of a problem is that it's back in this corner. So when you come in the door to brush your teeth, you actually do have to climb into the shower, right? Like if it were out here more, you'd be able to stand here and brush your teeth into the sink. So a kid or us actually has to, we're not gonna reach this far. We'd have to climb right into the shower to use it. So for us, it would be better if it were out here, but it's better than not having a sink in the bathroom at all. The other thing is this shower curtain. So this is kind of a curtainy vinyl material and it's on a radius top and a straight bottom. Now it, there is a track there that the bottom falls in, but it, it looks like the curtain's falling off and it really isn't. It's all exactly the way it's supposed to be. And then it does up like that. So I like the curtain better than the roller things. I'm always worried that the, the plasticky stuff in the roller is going to break. Um, but this also needs some type of a tie back or something like that just to hold it in place. You do get heat ducting um, down here. So that's nice in the bathroom. And there's switches. And I don't see any electrical or mirror in here. You do get the max air fan, but you got to be tall enough to reach those buttons to turn it on. And then coming out on the rest of this ceiling, you get lots of LED lighting, which I love. Not blingy, not a ton to keep clean, but lots of good light. You do get the AC here, um, which doesn't need to be ducted because it's going to cool off this whole space with no problem. And there's speakers there as well. We need to talk about this slide and what we can and can't access when it comes in. It's not the deepest slide this way, but remember it has this whole seat that's got to come in, right? So really it's from the wall to here. This whole size is what's got to come in. So it's going to come to probably about here. So honestly, the Cracker Barrel factor is pretty high in the sense that uh, you could leave the slide in, you could still access your sink, stove, fridge, bathroom, pantry, bunks. You would have the couch, but you wouldn't have the Murphy bed. So you could make this down into a bed, but remember it's kind of a smaller bed. And then you've got this. So it depends on you. It depends on how many people you're actually putting in here and which things you need. It's a, it's a pretty high Cracker Barrel. You just can't use that Murphy bed is all. So nice trailer. Let's take a look at what the numbers are. Numbers for the 2021 RPOD 193 are this particular one has a GVW of 4,835 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity of 995 pounds. And the rest of the numbers. So exterior length, 22 feet, 11 inches. Uh, the exterior height, 9 feet, 10 inches. And this is a little taller because it's the Hood River Edition, so it's got more clearance. The exterior width, 96 inches because it has that 8 foot wide axle. But remember the house portion is seven and a half feet wide and then all the tanks are at 30 gallons and the awning on the outside was a 10 foot awning oh let me tell you the bed sizes so this murphy bed makes down into a 60 by 74 bed and those two bunks back there are 26 by 74. And then the all important price here at South Thompson RV today, the MSRP is at 36,375 Canadian dollars. Remember to check those links in the description. So I hoped you liked it. I mean, they've really come up with a nice light decor that I really like. So if you did, give us a thumbs up, 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe. And if we've given you some value here, please feel free to buy us a coffee. It helps us to keep doing what we're doing. We'll put a link in the end so that you can also see the construction video and maybe come along on an adventure or something like that with us too. We love having you along. Thanks for watching.